The, the heart and the diaphragm evolved together embryologically. Now, I am not the expert on this. I will freely admit, okay, um, Amy Matthews knows a lot more about embryology than, than I do, and she loves to teach about it, okay? And a lot of what I know about embry embryology I actually lifted from Amy. Um, <clears throat> but when we're uh, developing, okay, we develop in layers. There's a few layers that turn into all of our body tissues. And um, we're sort of like this flat pancake at first. But at a certain point, we fold, both from the sides inward, which creates that central seam, we, we talk about the linea alba, but also from top to bottom, right? So what starts out being on the surface, on the top, actually ends up to be our core as we fold in on ourselves. Um, she calls it the cannoli. <laughs> it's, it's like a cannoli. Um, and so the, you've got your heart, okay? Well, let's just say this is, this is your heart here. Um, before, the, before this folding occurs, it's sitting up here, like above where your head's going to be, right? And it's actually it's sitting like this. And it's got this tissue, okay? Twelve the transversus septum sitting there. And when the folding occurs, this happens. And the, tra the transversus septum is your central tendon of your diaphragm. So the heart and the central tendon have never been separate. They evolved together embryologically. So when we, when we show this view of the diaphragm here from above, and you can see where the heart sits on the diaphragm, and this cut has been made in the pericardium, which surrounds and contains the heart, you can see that it's fused to the diaphragm. They're not separate pieces at all. Okay, the, this bottom portion of your pericardium is inseparable from the central tendon of the diaphragm. Mm -hmm.